Welcome to the cast iron Lebanese cooking and more. Hello, my Dutch oven lovers. If you are not one of them, hope you will be soon. First, I want to thank all my subscribers. It's getting more and more every day, and with your comments, especially the newer subscribers, this is a very encouragement for to go more and more, making you a good recipes. You might see sometimes two or three weeks to have a video, because I work for a living, and this is my passion on cooking and to bring the Lebanese dishes to you that you can have a great taste and experiment a new kind of cooking. That's why sometimes I get two or three weeks to make a video. But this is still okay <laughs> because you can experiment the ones that I already made before. Today, what I want to do for you, a dates cake with walnut. This is a very old recipe. My mom used to do it, got it from her mom. Now I got it from my sister. It's a good recipe, easy to make, very fast, especially if you have people coming in to visit you. A one hour before you can do it, and then you can serve it with coffee, with tea. It's a very good recipe to have. Dates is a very good uh, fruit it has the sugar but it's natural and healthy what i need to show you is how to make it fast and easy let's go to the ingredients i have here one cup of sugar i have two and a half cup of all-purpose flour i have here half a cup of butter melted four eggs one pack of dates this is a baking dates it's paste and soft, but you can use regular dates pitted. You can cut them small, small, up to like quarter inch, and then you can sprinkle a little flour for them not to get sticky together, and you throw them between the mixture when you make it. You can use that too. Also, you can cut them small and put them in the microwave for a few seconds. They melt it a little bit, become soft, and you can use them with your mixer. I have here one and a half cup of walnut and I crush them in the zipper bag which I want to do. I made one cup and I want to do the half cup in front of you. Plus if you want to have more you can have more. This, this is 14 ounce which is very good for this but you can have little more if you want to. Here I have two and a half teaspoon baking soda. I have half teaspoon nutmeg grinded fresh. I have half teaspoon of cloves. I just crushed them, grounded, and half teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt, about about a quarter teaspoon. Extra, I have little also melted butter and a little of flour to sprinkler and wipe the pan before I baking it. Now let's go to how I want to do the mixture all together. Now in a bowl, I want to put here the sugar. And my melted butter. Then I want to break the eggs. and mix this all together. I want to add the uh, dates. You can use electrical mixer, but I always do by hand. I should cut them little bit pieces on the cutting board before I put them here. Still will wear. getting thick I want to add a little butter mm -hmm. 
the walnut and make some another half cup walnut here in a zipper bag. Put them like this. Now we want to mix all. Now here there is my baking skillet made by Lodge. I want to use this one or if you don't have, you can use regular skillet or if you don't have the cast iron, use a baking mold or a cake one. All these are works fine. Here, little melted butter. I want to wipe this. Sprinkler. Now here. can dip in water can dip this in water and then you can wipe it this will work too it's a thick dough but it will turn very good cake and then we cut them in square pieces this is what it is we can go here, make it like this. Now we want to go to the kitchen oven and we'll bake it for 35 to 40 minutes. We put a stick in. If the dough completely baked, it will be enough 35 to 40 minutes. Depends on, on the oven's heat. It has been 35 minutes. I need to check with my wood discover still need more probably about 10 to 15 minutes let's check on it right now yes I have to let it cool a little bit Very good. I hope you enjoyed my uh, dates with walnut cake. And this is a very delicious one. Try it. And don't forget, you can do it also in your Dutch oven if you are camping. You just put it inside and use the coals to bake it. Or use a liner, whichever you like. You can do it any way you want. It takes you about 40, 45 minutes to be cooked at 350 degree. Thank you for watching and hope I will see you for next video. Do not forget to give me your comments, share and subscribe. See you later. Bye.